happy Thursday, my friends. I don't know about you, but my team and I have seen such a significant shift in this market in the last two weeks alone. Our buyers went from a position of being able to take their time, find a deal, get seller concessions, uh, back to this bidding war of having to go and over asking little to no contingencies. Uh, and while I love what this means for the purchase market, I don't necessarily love what this means for our first time home buyers. So this is a really great opportunity for you to check in with your lender, if it is not me, and ask them, what are you doing to ensure that my buyer's offers are going to get accepted? And here's my top two non-negotiables. Number one, your buyer should be underwritten approved. When they are underwritten approved, not pre-approved, but underwritten approved, you can go in with little to no contingencies uh, and a super fast close of escrow. Now, every once in a while, we get those fire drills where a buyer wasn't able to get their docs in time or they're just moving too fast. And it's a case-by-case -case basis. But usually, if your lender can move fast and communicate effectively, you should be okay. Uh, and that leads me to my second non-negotiable, which is communication. When an offer goes out, your lender should be reaching out to the listing agent to sing your buyer's praises. A quiet lender is not a good lender. That does not feel safe to the listing agent. So these are my top two things. Now there's other things out there, niche programs like Cash Pass uh, that we at Guild have. Uh, we haven't talked about in a long time, but I think it's gonna come back to the table because uh, competition seems to be returning. So again, at the end of the day, uh, there is not enough supply for the true demand, which means that competition is only going to get stronger as we enter into spring and summer. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hope your week is going to end on a high note and look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.